Yes, a spoiler regarding Pepper Potts for Iron Man 3 has leaked, and I bet you already kinda guessed it as you clicked on this video. But seriously, there is a huge spoiler coming up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pepper Potts is going to get her own set of Iron Man armor. How do we know this? Because Disney needs to start pitching the Iron Man 3 toy line to retailers and such, and it's kind of hard to hide a female Iron Man action figure. Now, I took a quick sampling of my friends, and nobody that I spoke to likes the idea of Pepper getting her own Iron Man suit. Why? Because her whole appeal is that she is Tony Stark's very real-world girlfriend and serves to ground his spectacular adventures. Plus, with Rhodey already sporting an Iron Man suit, Jeff Bridges donning a variation in the first film, and rumors that Tony will fight a new villain sporting yet another version of the Iron Man suit in this upcoming movie, well, at what point does the idea of Iron Man become too diluted? I mean, if everyone has a suit, how special is it really? Plus, how long until this YouTube video that was meant to be a joke becomes a reality? So, should we start hunting down Iron Man 3 writer-director Shane Black right now? Well, actually, this isn't totally his idea. There's a precedent set in the comic. There, Pepper was injured and got her own arc reactor, and soon after discovered that Tony had made her a personalized version of his Iron Man suit, called the Mark 1616. However, he made it to protect Pepper, and therefore, while it's a powerful suit, it's severely limited in its offensive capabilities. Lame. But Pepper was cool with this and took the name Rescue, then promptly rescued Tony and gave him back the suit. Lame again. But Iron Man 3 doesn't have to follow the comics exactly. After all, on the page, Pepper married Happy Hogan. However, protecting Pepper is clearly a huge part of Iron Man 3. It's the focus of Tony's speech in the trailer, and we can see that he does have good reason to be worried. So, do you want to see Pepper Pot suit up with his and her arc reactors? Or do you prefer Pepper as a civilian? I'm leaning towards civilian, as I like the dimension that role gives both her character and the Iron Man stories. But I'll reserve judgment until I actually see how it plays out in the film. As I've said many times, I think Gwyneth Paltrow's portrayal of Pepper is one of the Iron Man franchise's greatest strengths. So if any actress can pull this off, I believe it's her. And after all, in the comic, even beyond becoming Rescue, she did briefly lead the Order, a California-based superhero team, after the Civil War crossover event. And aren't we always saying we want these movies to follow the comics? Be sure to write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.